Welcome to the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. It's always a pleasure. Welcome to December. We celebrate our people, our families. Welcome together. Welcome back to our home. Today it's a good pleasure. Even right now we are celebrating December, the, the month where we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, things are going to be good. We are going to share love. We are going to share money. We are going to share food. We are going to share clothes. We are again now when we start December. You know what happened in Mount Zion Carnation? The arena of the supernatural. Yeah, the things that are happening is this. We have the days of glory. When I'm speaking about the days of glory, you know, I'm speaking about the supernatural banquet. Yeah, where we have different speakers, it is our annual conference where we celebrate and say, Ebenezer, Lord, you have been with us from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We celebrate, you know, we are going to cross over at the end of this month. Yes, and celebrating the new year. 2020, it's our best year. 2020, it's our good year. 2020, it's a year where we're going to celebrate 20 years of Mount Zion Carnation. Yes, you're going to be there. We'll be celebrating every day and every week and every month of 2020. Yes, I'm inviting you. But I want to introduce you to our guest speakers for this conference. We had different speakers for the past conferences. But this time and this year of 2019, as we draw to an end, yes, we are going to have beautiful preachers. I've got my brother here, oh, oh brother, uh, Mlambo, Sandile Mlambo, Kini Mlambo. So he's going to come and minister to us. He's a preaching machine. He's the one who preaches the word of God and the heavens come down. And I'm telling you, things will begin to happen. He's going to be with us in this conference. And I'm telling you, you're going to be blessed. Let's hear him, what he has to say and what he has to offer in this conference, my friend. Let's go to the word of God. And I know you are going to be blessed in Jesus' name. It's not Matthew Pochette. We say, Lord, the bar. In there are two spaghetti. He can never walk ever again. Ushel we abalisa. Gandingo se palace abuse. Ukona ino munye. Enga menzelo musa nenga chena thana wa pendulu ziba. What it is, but he's crippled. He's handicapped. Ya jingo simlande ni. Ngawa bem describe panje. Bam nigezi chuma lukba mkuhula bono wabazime mkazi. Wati mae figa. Ay. Koti washale taflene. Sombo zunyong. Koti ngegi shale nga pezu li bona gala. Hanga zuba nungkulungkulo retu gumfisha. 
Ubunyonga back. Best uncover your strengths. Angazuban, all I'm seeing, all ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Your business has been too low. We, we are shooting high straight to the palace where things are possible. Young Gena, you may be putting a funnel. Young Gena, I am I am got to go seven. Young Gena, I am defending and you go shoot a feet. Oh, you have him lens, I am get like I am. Young Gena, defend the ass among Gena, young Boning is a feeble spaghetti legged individual. What's the root of it? Stay here forever. As long as you stay in my table, him lens if I leave. Oh, hiya. As long as you stay different, him lens a yako. Make a Bible on a band. Uta was was humble. The day was to let the flame. Ubu se bako. I shall stay in the table of God. There is one thing I desire from the Lord. is to dwell in his house. I shall stay in the house of God. of God from the basket straight to to the palace before the palace before to Umiriam as a chest we princess can I find you one of these Hebrew ladies Uzongeli Sumtanako Lom Tolile Adu princess, it sounds like a good idea. Mtole, mumtolile. I will put her on the payroll. Definitely, I will also accommodate her in the palace. Oh, Miriam, that is straight from the bush. From the bush straight to the palace. No more work, I got upsad. What Asha Umaga Mose, what Asha Luka Dinga Niake, what Kokelo, what the accommodation for Ringan. What too, I can't do what's born and live is. What Kokelo Gutinga Nuizel, what Patalo Gutuaka, value Bezo Gata for free. Mobeyak, got on over my resources to Benga now. I'm resources of Bumyama, I tell my resources of Kanye, I'm not in Shonjal, but but Wakokelwa monthly Utu Katinga Niak. We ask when Zuan, the enemy is paying back all that he took by force, by mistake, and by choice. It shall be so upon your life. The enemy will return back all that he stole from you. He will return your joy. He will bring back your job. He will bring back your promotion. Himalaya can join you. Yes, 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 another speaker. You heard Bishop, uh, not Bishop, but Apostle Sandy Le Lambo, Kinim Lambo, what he preached about. Hey, this is a preaching machine. I'm telling you, things are going to happen. Your life will never be the same again, my friend. Let pick me, my, my, my father, my biological father, Baba Bishop S. Pim Somi, my own father biological father i'm telling you he's a man of god he's a teacher he's an apostle he's a prophet i'm telling you come this december you are going to be blessed your life will never be the same again this is our december this is our joy this is our peace this is what will be happening yes bishop s Pimsom is going to bless us or oh, he has blessed us with his word of god in jesus name be blessed Naomi is coming with a negative, uh, negative attitude. But it's an opportune time. 
Because right now, it's the time for the barley harvest. It's time for them to get full. But unfortunately, Naomi is negative. Naomi cannot receive because she's negative. So let all those that do not have faith remain at home but let those that have faith move out to get the things so Ruth goes out to get the things she goes right to the person who is the correct person to help her when the man comes to the, to the fields he greets everybody then his eyes yes Clue to this woman. He says, whose is this damsel? He wants to know, who does she belong to? Deep down in my heart, I know what he meant. If she could be mine... I would really appreciate it. But I need to know whose damsel is this. And then they, talk, they tell him this woman is that Moabish woman that came from that came from Moab the land of darkness the woman that was born by incest. She is here. She, that's the woman that is here. Some people will never forget your past. They will never forget that we are the darkest continent on the earth. They will never forget that we have wars all over Africa. They will never forget that we are, we are a poor and uneducated continent. Even our people who play soccer overseas. Some of the best players from Africa they score goals overseas. But you will find that there are spectators. There are spectators on the outside. They will take bananas and throw them in the field saying no matter you score goals but you are a monkey you are a monkey you understand some people will never forget your past that's the thing I want you to forget today she is a Moabite woman she was not born like us she is not a as pure as we are. She is right here. But the man who talks these things does not know that the righteousness of Ruth has preceded her. The righteousness of Ruth is all over the city. That even though she is a Moabite but she clung to, to Naomi she kept her hand on Naomi. She divorced her people and said, your people are my people. She divorced her land. She said, wherever you stay, I will stay. She divorced the graves of Moab. She said, where you will be buried, I will be buried. She divorced all the gods. She said, your God shall be my God. That righteousness preceded her. When she stepped on Bethlehem, everybody knew who was coming. That's why the whole city started shaking. We got a new guy on the block. We got a new Christian on the block. We got another prophet on the block. A different 
prophet, a different apostle. Yes, he comes from the taverns. Yes, he comes from jail. Yes, he comes from all the bad places. But let me tell you something. He has left all those places. He had in jail that outside there is a Jesus. He decided to take Jesus in jail. And he is now right here. We need to learn to accept such prophets. We all have a past. But the past does not define our future. We, we forget about the past. Let go of what is behind. Oh my God. If a person is in Christ, all things are passed away. Behold, new things come afford. Yo, I'm telling you, the next best speaker is, is, it is our, my spiritual father, Baba Basil Tryon, the multimillionaire, the pastor, the preaching machine, the lion, <laughs> the anointed man of God. I'm telling you, God has blessed him mightily in Jesus' name. I know he has blessed us for a couple of years. Yes, now he's going to bless us. I'm telling you, come join us be blessed i'm telling you the word that is going to share with you is going to change your life let's go to the word of god right now and be blessed by dr ba ba basil tryon he's going to bless you go for it are you ready for it go 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 <laughs> get it so you need to know how to live on the earth Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to show you how to order. So how did Jesus live? We know that he went to the cross. How did he live? He spoke to trees. What happened when he speak to the tree? In 24 hours it dried up. I speak a 24 hour miracle in your life. In 24 hours you're going to get a miracle. Poverty will dry up in the name of Jesus. Sickness will dry up. The curse will dry up. You will not eat from that tree ever again. No man eat of thee ever again. It dries up from today. I speak as a prophet of God. It dried, that tree dried up. This is history. So the disciples... They came in 24 hours back. They say, Master, Aibo, this tree dried up from the roots up. Not from the fruit down. From the root up. You see, when you've got a man of God to speak into your life, he'll dry it up from the root up. I dry the root of poverty up. When a root is dry, there'll never be a fruit again. But if you dry the fruit, the fruit will come next season and next season. But I dry that root up now. Now, now, now. The root is dried up now. Your debts are canceled now. You have unexpected income now. Money got your name on it now. Money got your address on it now. Jesus spoke to trees. Jesus sat down for a few minutes. Jesus also said, every plant, every tree that the Father has not planted must be uprooted. Jesus said, if you have faith, as a grain of mustard seed, you will say unto the sycamine tree, mulberry tree, be uprooted and be cast into the sea and it should obey you. I speak to every tree that the Father God never planted in your life. I say, be uprooted from your heart. Be uprooted from your mind and be cast into the sea the word of faith the anointing of the holy ghost uproots every
every tree that is bringing negative fruit in your life. It is uprooted today in the name of Jesus. Sit down. The disciples had fished the whole night and they had caught nothing. And then in the morning they're washing their nets and Jesus comes. Now in the Sea of Galilee they don't fish during the day. In the Bastora Bahando Boshaka Patarabasala, a Carabasola Banda Barababa. Jesus says to his disciples, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a haul. Some of you have fished the whole night, you caught nothing. Caught nothing is over today, it's over. You're no more going to fish in shallow waters. You are launching out into the deep things of God. Deep, call it unto deep. At the sound of the water sprouts of God. And when they let down their nets, they try to lift it up. And it, cr 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 the nets were breaking. So they called everybody else there to come and help them. I speak into your life today that you're going to have boat sinking, net breaking, catches of money in the name of Jesus. There's going to be so much. You're going to call your children. You're going to call your grandchildren. You're going to call the neighbors because there's more than enough for everybody in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you, this is a banquet. You are invited to come and join us and celebrate with us as we close this year. <laughs> this is not a crossover. No, 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 no. It's just the beginning of the month of December, a month of celebration, a month of glory, a month of Christmas, a month of fellowship. People are coming home. Yes, in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for those, but I want to invite those who want to accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior, because this is very important for this show, for the people to be saved, for the people to see Jesus Christ as their Lord and savior. My friend, you're gonna be blessed, I'm telling you. I know you have been blessed by Apostle Sandy Lambo. I know you have been blessed by Bishop Espim Somi. I know you've been blessed by Dr. Basil Tryon. Yes, you have been blessed. It is so true. It is so powerful. And your life will never be the same again. Say these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me all of my sins. Make me whole. Because I am your child today. In the name of Jesus, I accept you. I receive you. You are my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. By saying that prayer, my friend, your life will never be the same again. Contact us or join a Bible teaching church. And I'm telling you, you're going to grow. You need to grow spiritually so that you reach the level where we are and you will grow until you, you mature. You reach a level of manhood in Christ where you are mature in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for those who are sick right now. Father, in Jesus' name, I release healing. I release life, I release deliverance, I release the abundance in the name of Jesus. I declare it is done in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. YouTube channel, this sermon is played on television. And also, if you follow my channel, Swanem Somi, you see on the screen. And even your social network, please follow us. Yes, follow us. And I'm telling you, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. We're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. I'm telling you, my friend. Please share this video. Tell others. Tell your friends. That's it. The Apostle Swanem Somi, Dr. Swanem Somi, is with you on a channel, teaching you, blessing you. This is the month of December. You're going to be blessed, my friend. I'm telling you. In South Africa, and we have uh, 16 days of activism. Next week, we're going to show you and uh, women that have been abused and used and uh, many things have happened in their lives. And uh, I'm telling you, we celebrate women. 
We protect our women. We protect our girls, our children. So that's again, you, my friend, just make a decision to, to protect our mothers, our grannies, our wives, and our daughters, and our sisters, and our aunties, in Jesus' name. Be blessed until we meet next time. And uh, let us see each other in the conference. Days of glory. This year, we are saying glory of grace. May God bless you. I love you, you know. And it's you know. Yes. See you there in Jesus' name. Amen.